I'm here today at the historic Castello Cecconi in Northern Italy. We're here for Imaging USA. We're going to be shooting live events over two days and I have a one hour segment where I'm going to be teaching the simplicity and ease that I use one light, which is what I mainly shoot with in my commercial work and weddings, uh, portraiture. I nearly always use one, sometimes two lights. My absolute favorite is the AD300 Pro. As you can see, it's so small and manageable and light. I'm able to carry it around by myself without an assistant, but it packs just enough power and punch to be adaptable to both a studio setting and an outdoor setting. So that's why I've chosen this light to teach today for Imaging USA. But we can't be here in this magnificent place without exploring the grounds a little bit. So Catherine, my favorite model, and I am gonna do a little bit of exploration before we shoot tonight in the studio. When time is tight in a remote location, the AD300 Pro is my mobile studio for some fast fashion shots using the castle's unique interior. Adding a blue gel to an AD200 on a white wall to add impact. Castle's tower offers a spectacular mountain backdrop. I expose for the sky and mountains, underexposing our model, then add a 45 degree light at half power, using the mountain itself to frame her. I blend the artificial light with the ambient to shape her features and illuminate her against the lighter background. I love to use triangles in my portraits, from the classic Rembrandt triangle of light to her pose and shape. The triangle composition tool reflects the line of her shoulders and places her face as our focus of interest. This composition is confirmed by the traditional rule of thirds and golden ratio. In the live studio class, we use a gridded 65 centimeter softbox with a classic butterfly light for business portraits to Hollywood glamour and add a reflector for beauty headshots. A single light is my favorite setup for fashion portraits. I remove the grid to broaden the light, then move it around the subject to add drama with shadows and a short-lit Rembrandt lighting pattern. Three different looks, adding a rim light with the 8200 and then moving our key light behind the subject for a final creative take. <laughs> 